What's going on, family? It's the GOAT, and today we're going to talk about engaged tackling. All right, so let's dive into it. Let's talk about the why. Now, this drill may be unorthodox for most coaches and players, but the reason why we do it is because you want to do drills that are realistic to in-game situations. Engage tackling is all about simulating those close quarter battles that happen in the trenches during the game. Now, as a former pro player, these are drills that I wanted to install from my personal experience. Maybe other people do it as well, but this is why it works. So here's an example of an engaged tackle drill. In a drill like this, I like to start the progression from a two-point stance just to give guys a better feel of what to do and what it looks like. You can start with one arm hooked inside the opposing lineman, or you can start in the strike position, locking out while being held by the offensive lineman, which also replicates real game scenarios. You'll also need an extra lineman serving as a running back. Prior to the whistle, you're gonna give a direction where you want the flow to go, and then upon the whistle, the guy is gonna drive while engaged, doing whatever he needs to do from a scheme standpoint, while the defensive lineman's job is to stop the ball carry in their tracks. Engaged tackling is all about preventing those extra yards after contact. You bring them down quickly, efficiently, and minimize any yardage. Here's a few game clips this year of our defensive lineman at the University of Chicago. If you like what you see, please like, comment, share, and message me on what you wanna see or hear next from the GOAT. Peace.